This is the realest thing that I've heard on the internet. Wrote a clip. You know what the worst thing to do is? Realize you grew old with the wrong woman because she was a pretty face. There's two mating strategies Dr. Bus teaches. Long term, short term. From the day you're born as a man, always optimize for long term. Because when you optimize for long term, you'll still get the fun short term. But you might accidentally get a girl pregnant and pregnant forever. And I want to repel the women who are nut life <laughs> up. Because that beautiful face, that's crazy. I've seen it almost take down every top man. Is not only up, but deadly. Well, i tell you what, Ty Lopez, he is probably the most intelligent person that has ever gone on Fresh and Fraud. He's probably the most intelligent person by far. I mean, what he said was logical. It wasn't emotional. It was rational and reasonable. And any man that's married or that is mature enough to want to be in a marriage, they can see that what Ty Lopez said was 100% facts. He didn't have to bash women and talk crazy and come up with all these innuendos and anecdotal arguments. He literally stated facts. And as a man, I agree with him 1,000%. You don't want to have the regret of messing with the wrong woman just because she fine with personal experience that happened to me i had a kid with a woman that i said i thought she was just fine didn't realize we had nothing else in common we did not get along whatsoever and now the forever it's gonna be a headache but i think that you know that's something that men should consider don't get married too young just because somebody told you you need to get married you need to be ready to get married you don't need to marry a woman because she fine because she look good she i can't eat. no you need to you want a woman that's prepared that's that's going in the same direction that you're going in so you can have a peaceful life and she ain't got to be a 10 to have a peaceful life. I always remember the 80-20 rule. I don't know who came up with it, but you never leave 80% for 20%. And a lot of men do this time in and time out. A 20% woman is fine and she's smart. And the 80% woman ain't, ain't that fine. She's still intelligent, but she love you. She's dedicated. She's loyal. She's good with kids. She's good with your family. Your family have synergy. I mean the whole gamut, but you want the 20% because she's smart and she's fine. Come on. All right, next video. We all knew who we were when we were little. <laughs> We knew our power then. It was just second guessed. Follow that instinct, that pay attention to that flame in you because it is real and keep it fueled and don't let anybody try to blow it out. My basic needs are met is nothing I'm complaining about. And I'm doing everything in my power to get to where I want to go. What do I got to complain about? I have, in that perspective, my basic needs are met. My family is good. I'm in the opportunity to make my life better, what the f do I have to complain about? Mm -hmm. It's, and, liter it's and literally while nothing. while those people are complaining and while those people are depressed and while those people are saying why my life couldn't do better, you have that mindset that everything is, I'm grateful for everything and you're attacking everything that you want to do. So while the person is complaining, I'm working. Exactly. I'm working all the time. Exactly. I love to work. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be better than anyone else. And you have to put that shit in your mind, bro. Who's more important, your husband or your day one friends? I feel like they should be equal. At what point in the relationship do you say, all right, my husband is more important than my friends? A it's motherfucker true. could show that they solid within a fucking week. Like, more than motherfucking your friends that you known for motherfucking years and shit. So you can tell if your partner is solid within one week. You pay attention to the little shit. What's the little shit? Communication, the way that they move, things that they do for you, things that they don't do for you. Within a week. Thanks. <laughs> Fellas, this is why, man, it makes no sense to wife these birds, bro. This shit thinks a day one friends and her husband should be equal. Are you kidding me? Keep away from women like this women like this are extremely weak-minded women they are influenced by their friends so pretty much how women like her works she needs to get approval from her friends if you want to be with a chick like her a chick like her needs her friends to give her the thumbs up chicks like her live for social media they paint a picture to impress people and as you guys know social media is a myth so i'm just saying to you fellas be careful dealing with weak-minded women it's not going to benefit you those type of women are for the streets bro any woman to say some shit like that to say her day ones is equal to her husband, off rip. You gotta let a bird fly high. For real. I understand in order to be a master, you have to be a fool at first. And I'm willing, but not many people are willing to go through that journey of being a fool. That's just how it is. They want to be the master. 
but they want to work through the process. The most important conversation you will ever have in your fucking life is the one you have with yourself. You have to look in that mirror and know this, there's so much more in here, man. Because I can literally right now be a 300 pound guy spraying for cockroaches still to this day. If I did not look in that mirror and say, there, there has to be more to this. This can't be it. Face your fears, whatever they are. The fear that we might not do a good job. The fear that it might not turn out as we hope it would. The fears that are lurking there, some that have come and have been there even maybe since our childhood. Life is consisted of both fear and faith. Faith, of course, is the ability to overcome your fears. But what you have to do in terms of your fears about perhaps your own inadequacy, not feeling strong enough at the moment, you just have to face those fears. You just have to go to work on it. What could I do to eliminate this fear or to at least overcome it? Or what I like to say, drive it into a small corner. Because there's always the conflict between faith and fear. But here's what faith can do. Drive your fears into a small corner. But if you start amplifying your fears, guess what your fears can do? Drive your faith into a small corner. There's always a contest between one and the other, between good and evil, between darkness and light, between sickness and health, between liberty and tyranny. The contest is always on. But what we have to learn to do is face that dark side, face that difficult side, and see if we can't manage it. Maybe not eliminate it altogether, but drive it into such a small corner that it does not affect the rest of your performance. So face your fears, whatever they are. This is a good year to do that. You've got the strength to do it. You've got the help to do it. You've got the support to do it. This is the time to do it. Son, can't open your eyes. Can't you see? Huh? This right here is a definition of a man just feeding a bird, bro. Fellas, you have to stand for something out here. If a woman is giving you attitude all day and you still treat her like a princess, the only thing that she's going to do is use your dumb ass and make videos like this and brag about it. Women knows the type of men who allow them, or should I say, Women know the type of men to do this type of shit with. If she thinks you're soft, you're weak, you're sweet, you're a good guy, she is going to take advantage of you. And you know why she's going to give you an attitude all day? It's pretty much because she really don't want to be with you. But because you're giving her princess treatment to keep her, she's going to stick around. But she's only sticking around because of the princess treatment. So she is going to give you hell once you don't give her that. Besides you being nice to her, she's going to be giving you a hard time all day, homie. Because she don't want to be there. And that's why as a man, you got to know when to give a chick the boot. You got to know when it's time to let a bird fly high, bro. From the time a chick start giving you attitude and start getting disrespectful, it's time for her to go. You know why? Because she don't respect you anymore. And respect goes a long way, dog. Respect goes a long way. And once a woman stops respecting you, fam, leave her alone. <laughs> for real. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. Y'all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch. Y'all already know, man, STC, support the content. 
if you guys haven't yet go ahead and follow me right now on facebook i'm going to be posting content every day on facebook starting from today follow your boy right now aq reactions